And I'm Gia Ferrari. I'm Kendra Onyx, and this is not the Disney Channel. All right. Cheers to our sixth oh. review. Cheers to some full glass. Mm. <laughs> mm, all up in you. Oh my god, we're Monster High. Because <gasps> we are living. I'm Claudine Wolf. And I'm Abby Bominable after she lost her blue tint. Hi, I'm Kendra Onyx. And I'm Gia Ferrari, and you're watching the Boulet Brothers Dragula Season 4, Episode 6. Boo you! Ow! Mama. So the episode opens up, and everyone's speculating about who went home. Mm -hmm. It's between Bitter Betty, a.k.a. Petty Betty. Miss Zavaleta. Zavaleta and Hoso Teratumi. And they're just wondering, like, who, 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 who is it? Who's dead? Who's deceased? And, of course, we already knew. We know who it is. We Petty Betty. So, Miss Petty Betty, Bitter Betty, she's dead. Gone. She got pulled into she the ocean. She went home. Never she went to the ocean. ocean. Rest in peace, Bitter. She's smoking that shell. Uh, oh, we already did that. Never mind. Huh? When I was singing, like, Ariel. Who's Ariel? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, though, oh, I, I was about to throw this at you. Have you seen it, though? No. <laughs> <laughs> you lying! I've never seen it. What Disney movies have you seen? Pocahontas, Toy Story, uh, I've seen um, Lion King, Lion King 2, Lion King 1 and a half. At least you know it's fresh. Girl, I've seen A Bug's Life. That's Pixel. Okay, anyways. So, Betty's dead. Um, do you think the right person went home? Um, I don't think she should have been in the bottom, to be quite honest. Mm -hmm. I think if it were up to me, if I was both boulets, little and big, I would have... Swan and Drac. Swan and Drac. I they got that. names. I would have... Uh, just based on last challenge alone, I would have sent home Hoso. For me, just based on last challenge, I probably would have sent home Zavaleta. Okay. And I love Zavala. And I love Hoso, but I don't think I I pers I personally, in my personal opinion, for me, for you, for me, don't think that Betty should have gone home. But she's dead. She's gone. She's. Under the, the sea. sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Hey! Ha! Ah, ho! She is now petty. Uh, and she is petty. Uh, She's under the sea. Under the sea. E, 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 ooh, hey. So Zara and Hoso come in, and everybody's, you know, what's up? How you doing? How's your day been? And I really, really, really liked when Zara was like, I just want to apologize to everyone. Yeah, I thought that was, honestly, like, it was a, like, kind of. I was taken aback when I was watching. I was like, it was grown folk shit. Because I was so used I to like seeing, that. I was so used to seeing just drama after drama. Literally yeah. every, every episode when they get together like this. So it was nice for Zava to, to apologize and Jade to apologize. And it was uh -huh. just a really nice tender moment. And they all they all just were having a good old kiki. It was nice. I just think it speaks to the maturity level of both of these queens. Yeah, they're able to, to realize, you know... That they, I they fucked both, up. They were lashing out because they were upset because they were in the bottom. And, well, only one was in the bottom. Mm -hmm. And they they apologized. And I like that. I like that a lot. And this whole episode, honestly, was very drama free. And it was a nice change of pace from the last few episodes. That yes. Was just like boom, 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 boom. Drama, drama, drama. I hate you. Drama, drama, drama. So they finally congratulated Sigourney. Mm -hmm. uh, because finally. Yeah, so and it was. I mean, I thought it was a. It was a. a, a a deserved win. It was definitely a deserved win. Out of... Mm. I, Dolly was my pick. They congratulated her. They, congratulate, they congratulated Sigourney you know, on her win. She finally got a win. Yes. And they said, congratulations. You know, we're no longer in our fields. We're no longer, you know, probably drunk. We Congratulations. And so I thought it was nice of them to do that. So they go to the main stage, and the Boulets introduce this challenge, and it's the Harry Monster Challenge. Yeah, and honestly, like, the, the challenge itself, it just sounds so much fun. It was so, there's so many avenues you could yeah, go in. Yeah, you could do so much, and they have this sponsor, Art of Wigs, and they have to use, they have to incorporate. They don't never sponsor me. They have to incorporate the Art of Wigs somehow into their costume. I was on season two. Oh. 
Just saying. It's real, bitch. It holds. I need to get it filled up again. But yeah, so so Artwig, Harry Monster, challenge, shalom, shalom, shalom. And then they go into the workroom and everybody's making up these characters with these wigs. It's so funny to me that Sigourney's like chasing Dolly around with the weave. Yeah, they're they're trying to get a weave on him, and it's just so funny how he's just trying to avoid it. It was honestly just this. It was just episode, fucking around. Was like, it was oh, fun. Oh, I was I felt flutters in my heart. Might have been my oh. cholesterol, but you know whatever. Did you take your pill? I did. Okay. So before we get into this floor show, can we talk about these boulets? The, the hair. When they came out, Just the hair was like a wingspan. Of, I'm sorry. It's sis. all right, girl. A wingspan of a damn eagle. Girl, a literally. E-gal. Even just seeing, like, before the lights turned on, just seeing the silhouette, I was like, oh, come on, Boulez. They coming out, turning it out. They the showing hair. it. They girl. showing it. They showing out. I just thought it was so funny when they would, like, deliberate and they were, like, they couldn't really turn to each other, so they'd just be like this. They'd be like... But these looks, girl, oh, mama, for real, girl, amazing, right. girl. Yes. I, I loved it. Top looks of the week, definitely. So let's go ahead and dive into the floor show. So first up, we have Saint. So what did you think about their look? I think Saint um, looked really, really great. I think Saint looked great. Um, I got very, like, sadder vibes. I got uh, fun. Okay. All yeah. right. Well, I, I mean, something. Something woodland, something is. creature the is. This is a fawn from Narnia. I've never seen Narnia. <laughs> I got sadder. It's a woodland creature with hooves and, like, horns. You look like the bitch from Narnia, and you ain't never seen Narnia. No, I have not, so I hope y'all drinking up there. Drink for me, because I've never seen Narnia. I read the first two pages of the book. I read the whole book. And you know, I don't read shit. And I read a lot. I man. don't read Nathan, nothing, nada. Mm. But Saint, I read the book, watched the movie, but I own the movie. I will read Saint. No, I ain't going to read her. Because Saint actually, I think, looks really, really good. The only thing I wish, um, to me, for me, para mi. Para ti. Mm-hmm. Para tu. This was a hair challenge, and I didn't get a lot of... Like, if I wouldn't have known it was a hair challenge, then I wouldn't have been like, oh, cool, this is a hair look. Simone. I, I did like the hair Saint was wearing, uh, but other than that, it just, it was, it was a, a, a great look. I did, I personally didn't get hair challenge from it. It was a good look. I think she fulfilled the challenge because her legs were like, you know, fur. Mm-hmm. Hair, mm-hmm. you know? And then she had the fur mohawk, which is very reminiscent to her rock hair. But I do, I know personally that those heels that she were wearing uh, are hard to walk in. First of all, I they just want to say, I just want to say, Saint. You know what? You know what? You didn't wear those those biscuit heels. We didn't get no biscuits. Congratulations, Shayla. That was amazing. <laughs> Congratulations, Shayla. Ah, <laughs> uh, change up your shoes, and for that, you conquered the world. Saint came out with the recorder. You know, all of us had one in the fifth grade. Eighth grade for me. Cute. Fifth grade for me, and she was probably playing hot cross bun. The <laughs> only thing, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> oh yeah! Bitch, I oh my god! god. <laughs> oh my god. Everybody knows. The, ooh, girl. girl it's all down. right. You know what, Mama? Saint, I think I'm going to go ahead and just give Saint two thumbs up, but it wasn't hair challenge for me. But two so thumbs up anyway. I'm going to give Saint. I'll give her two thumbs up. Yeah, because I mean. I my think, other thumb is over here, it's under the fur, so I mean, two thumbs up for me. All right, so next up we have Dolly. And what do we think of his look? I love Dolly's look. I love Dolly's concept. I love Dolly's bare leg on the sides. I I love Dolly. I love Dolly, too. You I have that. literally, because, I mean, I was on season two with Dolly. And I have literally re-fell in love with Dolly's character. 
Yeah, Dali has completely changed his drag up, and I think it's it's just really cool to see. So he did like a like a troll under the bridge, kind of like pay the toll. Yeah, and it was just it was a fun character, and you could tell that Dali's having fun when he's doing when he's doing his drag. Yes, it's it's just it's fun to watch him, and he's it's just refreshing. Like, yeah, because season two, Dali was like. Yeah, it was just I don't know I don't know how to explain it, but this is a different Dolly than season two. Yeah, and it's it's like I said, it's it's fun to watch. Um, the one thing I will say about Dolly is that I feel like. Are you going to say what I think you going to say? You uh, probably, aside from last week. Last week his his makeup was really good. Uh huh. Um, I just wish I'd see a little more variety in his makeup. Is all. That's it. What I will say is, what is the difference in Dolly? Presenting their character as they do, and the next person, the next contestant, doing their makeup exactly the same every day, too. You know what? You're right. I I don't even think this is the same. You know what I mean? There's no red around it. Mm. And I just feel like Dali gets so much flack because it's so unique looking. So it was like, it's the same thing, it's the same thing. But the next host and the next to Dolly looks exactly the same that they did from last week. You know what? You're right. I will say, though, I was not a big fan of Dolly's shoes, just like the Belay's. They reminded yes. me of my abuelito from Leon Guanajuato, the shoes he used to wear when he used to, when he used to work in his little store that he had in the back of his house where he sold Vaqueros chips. There was the shoe, little shoes he wore, the little leather shoes. Chips. Mm-hmm, vaqueros chips. They gave me very socks, very character shoe, which is like nothing. Yeah, I don't know. It was like a jazz shoe that you wear in jazz class. I don't know. It just, I wish it was a different shoe. But other than that, this look was great. Two thumbs way up for me. For me. Two thumbs up. Next up is Miss Sigourney T. Beaver. And what do you think about her look? I thought it was a good look. Okay. Sigourney. Sigourney. It was a good look. However, like the boulets and like I've been saying the last couple of reviews, it's just glamour after glamour after glamour after glamour. And I think this was a perfect opportunity to really bring out the horror or the filth or do something really like, oh my God, something out of the box for Sigourney. And I think it was a missed opportunity. She looks... Good. She looks great. Yeah, I think that the dress was the same Stunting. silhouette as last week's dress. It's the same silhouette as every week's dress. Girl, mama. But Sigourney looks great. She does look great. I mean, she's she's beautiful. She's a beautiful queen. She's a beautiful woman. She's beautiful. Like, when she took the hood off, you see the eyebrow hairs, mm-hmm. which is cute, and then the wig that was, like, up to Jesus. Jesus. Again, like her promo look. Jesus. But, um, it was underwhelming for me. It, yeah, it was underwhelming just because we've, we've, I feel like we've just seen so much. If this was like the first thing we ever saw from Sigourney, bitch, mama, hands down. It would have been. But we've seen already what she can do. Another thing I will say is those, the, the stocking that she had for her arm that she attached all the fur from, it was a little like, uh, a little, Rushy. Yeah, a little loose. It was a, she, I think she had like a bodysuit, hmm. and then she had the gloves underneath the bodysuit. But like, regardless, it was all still it was very ill fitting. Rusty. Yeah, and, and we've seen Sigourney be polished from head to toe. So I think it was, I, I'm gonna give it for me. For you. Sigourney. Not Sigourney. For free. Always. I'm gonna give her um, one thumb down uh. and one thumb up. Oh. Because she looked great, but I just, it was underwhelming. I'm going to do one thumb up. Okay. That's it. That's it. It's todo. So next up, we have Miss Hoso Terra Toma. She's coming out as like a rosy maple moth. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you think of Hoso's look? I love this look. I love when Hoso twists like cute little femininity or like little girly things with horror. Mm -hmm. Like she had all the little bows in her beard and in her hair. And she was just like a big ass moth. I loved it. I really liked the color scheme of the yellow and the pink. It was really good. I liked the way she incorporated that 
pink wig as a beard. Mm-hmm. The only thing that my only critique, I mean, who am I just sitting behind in front of a green screen? But also for me, um, I wish the wings weren't so kind of floppy. I wish they had a little more structure so that they stood up a little more. And also the the hand like mm, pincers Mandibles. or whatever they were. Um, felt a little like for me felt a little cost to me but other than that I thought this look was really 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 great the hair everything Hoso looked amazing I'm I'm gonna give it despite my um, critiques I'm gonna give it two thumbs up I love this look from head to toe and also two thumbs up amazing two thumbs way up so next we have Miss J. Jolie, and she was the Krampus. What do you think about her look? I... Have you seen the Krampus? The one that came out a few years ago? Sure. I have seen. I have seen Krampus. Oh, I've seen it. Zing Grace. You know what? Miss cheers I to that, Mama. I've seen a movie. The... Hallelujah. Sweet the sound. Don't ever interrupt me when I'm worshiping. The one with Ben Wyatt. That's the one I've seen. Ben Wyatt from Parks and Recreation. Oh, cool. Jade Jolie. Jade Jolie. Jade Jolie. I thought she looked really good. She looked so, so good. Um, the horns and just all the hair. And it was just, it looked incredible to me. And then, like, the only thing I do wish is that she had like that basket full of like dolls or whatever. Mm-hmm. I wish she would have she would have done a little more with it. But other than that, her look on point. So I love Jade's look. I just wish her horns were a little bigger. Not a little, a lot bigger. Okay. Because when you look at the Krampus, you always have huge horns. Mm. That's one of the defining factors of the Krampus. But I loved her hair. I love the energy she brought to the runway. I just wish she had like a striped dress kind of thing and then like another dress under that dress and then the fur on her hooves. Mm-hmm. I just wish she didn't have that other dress so you could see more fur. Yeah, just the stripe? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you could see the whole thing and the, the hooves would have really made an impact. Mm-hmm. Other than that, I'm going to give this like two thumbs up. Jade Jolie, Same. amazing. It looked great, amazing, impeccable. Other club, other club. One, two, three, four thumbs up. Period. All right, so next up we have Miss Zava Letta herself coming out as allegedly Cat in the Hat. The Cat in the Hat inspired. Okay. What I didn't see no hat. I just saw a cat with a bat. Girl, I didn't even see a cat. I saw some sort of rodent, like a capybara or something. That is a cat. I didn't. Um, prosthetic wise, I didn't see cat. But what you think of Zavaleta's look? Okay, I really didn't like it. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't like it from head to toe. But Zavaleta's performance oh, sold me, and the simple fact that Zavaleta is one of the few contestants that have changed their makeup every mm. single episode. Mm. As you put all of Zawa's looks together, they're all different. All of them. Yeah, I think Zavaleta, honestly, this look to me, for me, wasn't the greatest. To me, it felt okay. like it felt like a, a pajama that she kind of cut up. Like a cat okay. pajama a with pajama. stripes. To me, the prosthetic didn't look super cat-like. I, okay. I really felt more rodent team. But! I think you just hating. Maybe I'm Because hating. you did Tigger. Man, nobody liked it. <laughs> Not Tigger. Go back, to that. Go back to that Tigger episode. People hated that Tigger look. But, but, like I said, or like you said, her performance saved her ass because her performance was great. She is a fantastic performer. I've seen her perform live. Um, yes. She is. She really saved it with. Uh, I didn't cut in that though. But what I will say is that she accused Jade of being the get on up, the get on up girl, and she was splitting and cartwheeling and. I mean, she eating she vertebrae. Prob- she probably knew the look was not the greatest, and so she was like, "I'm gonna go out and turn it out." And she did. And she turned it out. She, she turned sh- it the. <laughs> she's a performer. She's a performer. 
But just like Saints, I didn't get much hair challenge out of it. But I mean, you know what? I'm gonna give this look. One, only one, only one, only one. I'm gonna give it one thumb also down. Just one, one and a half. Yes. So, Hoso wins the challenge. Do you agree with that? I do agree. Even though I had my little qualms about the look, I do think it was a very strong, oh. very, um, oh, very, di <laughs> very different look. I thought it was, it was great. She definitely, and I'm glad she finally won because now it's an even playing field okay. coming into the next episode. Uh huh. A amazing, incredible. I, I thought she looked great. I agree. I thought she did really well this challenge it was a hair monster challenge it was covered in hair from head to floor head to floor mama so unfortunately the bottom two for tonight were miss jade jolie and miss agorn t beaver do you agree i don't i feel like it should have been a bottom three okay only because zavaletta i love her you know and I just feel like what she sold me is not what I got. I agree with you. I think it should have been Zava and Sigourney, not Jade. I think if it was a bottom two, Jade was at the very least safe. At the very least. If you're not in the top, you're in the bottom. Very they said true. It. They, very true, but there was a bottom two. So if it was bottom two, I think it should have been Zava and, and Sigourney. Sigourney. Okay. And for the extermination challenge, they had to go into this room where they were just being thrown cockroach after cockroach after cockroach after cockroach. some guy in a morph suit. Some random mysterious guy in a morph suit. It, it was me. I admit, it was me. I made my cameo. You see me in the credits. Look. It, it's like blink and you'll miss it. So please blink. <laughs> <you'll miss it. laughs> but anyway, so the yeah, the bottom two, Miss Jade and Sigourney, they had to go in this cockroach filled room. Would you have been able to do that? I think I would have. I think I literally could do most things unless it involves rodents, rats, capybaras. I don't like rodents. I don't like rodents. I'm so done with you with capybaras. <laughs> That's Technically a rodent, but they're huge as fuck. Yeah, imagine go. Imagine they're, bigger going than, the, they're bigger than your dog. They're bigger than my dog. Imagine going to a room with fifty capybaras. So I definitely feel like I could have done it because I mean roaches don't scare me. I've eaten crickets before, and like. I think like, I could have done it. Whenever I see, whenever I do see house. a roach. Whenever I, I go to your house and I see roaches, it's not a big deal. Yeah, when I see the roaches in my house, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> but. <laughs> Girl, Miss Mama, don't call me out like that, okay? Don't ever call me out like that. I will be. She ain't got roaches. I will be. She really don't. Ass. She got a luxury apartment. Luxury apartment, girl, Miss Mama, in downtown Fullerton, California. But, uh, yeah, no, I think I could have definitely done it. Um, I would put them in my mouth. I would have been like, are these edible? I would have. They weren't the Madagascar roaches, they always using Fear Factor. Which are hissing, so. Those are. These are. And you know, they're a little bit smaller, but still roaches. So I'm pretty sure I feel like roaches stink. Mm. So I'm pretty sure they stink. Mm. Cause I know when I have my rats, my babies, RIP, mm. RIP, RIP. But when I have my babies in my hair, they stink. Mm. Shitting girl. and pissing all in my hair. Yeah, girl. But ultimately, at the end of the day, at the end of the season, we have seen that the death upon this episode tonight, Mama, at the barbershop, Miss J. Joe is deceased. She's dead. She got her throat sliced. She was getting a haircut. They said, This hair is shit. Let's just cut her throat. And I am a little upset or roast that it was Jade. I don't think she should have been in the bottom. Um, but unfortunately, that's the way the cookie crumbled. She gone. She dead. Her throat is sliced. And it's kind of um, funny, ironic. I don't know. Kind of like the gods were making it in place. It's a full circle moment. Full circle moment that Miss J. Jolie went home on episode six in a hair challenge the same way she was sent home in that other drag show, Mama. 
Another drag show where she had a hair outfit on. Yeah, same episode, same amount of safes, same amount of bottoms. Come! Oh, it, this just... It is what it is. I believe in God after this because she said... I believe the children are future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. So that was our episode. What did you guys think? Please let us know in the comments below. We love reading all of your comments. Every all. single one. Every single all one. of them. Make sure you guys like our video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Hit the little bell, the ring a ding a ling a ling a ling so that you guys can be notified when we do post a new video every single week. And also, we have included a link in our description below to our PayPal, where if you guys would like, you can leave us a tip to, you know, just help us out because, you know... Help us with the decibels. Yeah, the decibels because our audio, you know, it's been a little funky. Clearly. We're trying to fix our uh, audio. Clearly. Give us a buck, two clearly. bucks, three bucks. Eighteen. We'll, we'll fix that. Dirty. Eighteen hundred. Whatever you got want. Girl, you want to give us $10,000? Girl, mama. I'll take it. I'll do whatever you want. I'll go naked right here. You give me $10,000, uh, bucks, I will get naked. Don't. Get don't. Well, don't say that shit. Because you're going to make me throw up. <laughs> but if you do want to go with that much, I will make sure she don't get naked. All right. But it's in the description below, our PayPal link. We love you guys so much. Thank you guys for all your support. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Miss Gia Ferrari and on Twitter at underscore Miss Gia Ferrari. And follow me at Miss Kendra Onyx everywhere. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Oh, we believe the children are the future. Oh, want to. Oh, look at these titties. Oh, Coco Cane realness.